hi, hi, my name's so-and-so. Oh, I'm so-and-so. So what do you do? Oh, I do this. What do you do? Oh, I do this. <laughs> you know, you may not realize it, folks, but when we're out in public and you meet someone and you're asked, what do you do? It's one of the most insulting, vague, and irrelevant questions you may be asked in your life. But this is what our society does, is we ask each other what we do. Because we base each other and our opinions on one another, often, on where the person's social status lies, or what do they do. You know, if you ask someone, if you're a lawyer, you say, hey, what do you do? And they say, oh, well, I'm a garbage man. You'll be like, oh, okay, and then go on to the next conversation. Oh, but if they say they're a lawyer, or if they say they're a, uh, um, you know, somewhere in the legal system, oh, you can suddenly relate to them on the par of work. And since we all work just to make it by, and most people talk about how, you know, they only work because they have to, or the job that they took, or the line of work they took, you know, is they'd rather be doing something else. But the minute you find some way to find somebody else who does the same line of work, instantly they are re reinforcing their system um, that they've developed. And it's only natural. You know, I'm a carpenter. When I meet other carpenters, I'm like, oh, cool. I don't sit and talk about carpentry all day. That's work. But it's also my passion. So if somebody's interested in woodworking, then I'll discuss it with them. But the question of what do you do has one that's, is one that's really bugged me because I want everybody to try this, you know. I know it doesn't happen that often, but, you know, next time you meet somebody and you get into the conversation of work and they say, oh, so what do you do? say, oh, I'm a jester, I'm a court jester, <laughs> or, you know, oh, I just like to think, I'm a philosopher, and it's funny, because when people ask me these days, I like to say stuff like that, you know, like, oh, I'm a philosopher, or, you know, um, my mom told me a story when she was younger, and she was with a big group of people, and she was at her first job, and, and everybody was, um, or she was sitting around with a bunch of people that were, you know, higher ups on the totem pole, and they were all talking about their jobs, and this and that, and they asked her what she did, and she was about 19 or something, and she didn't know anything about work, so she wanted to fit in, and she said, I'm a philosopher. <laughs> and you gotta know my mom to know how funny that is, but my, the guy asked her, you know, what, what, um, you know, what kind of philosophy? She's like, I don't know. And it was like, it's one of those being called out on your job things. It's the perfect example of how people who don't fit into that status quo will lie about their work but if they do something that's really prestigious they'll rub it in your face how about this if tomorrow our society was brought back to the basics <clears throat> I mean really brought down to the basics back to the dark ages in the sense that you know we had to start over from scratch let's just take for an example a theoretic there's only, you know, one in ten people survive some cataclysm, and we have to rebuild society. Well, those lawyers out there aren't going to be much good. <laughs> and neither are some of the leaders, the presidential figures, the, you know, elected officials. These people are garbage. Um, they will have no purpose in a new society. Then all of a sudden, being a carpenter will be this prestigious job, and people will be like, oh, you're a carpenter? Oh, my goodness. Oh, you build stuff? Oh, great. Hey, come over here and help me out with this. All of a sudden, someone as simple as a carpenter like me would be revered as this great help to society. But right now, I'm just a construction guy, building big buildings for bigger companies, more important things. So I take it with a grain of salt. You know, I don't... I don't um, I don't rub my job in people's faces because it's nothing special. It's just what I do. It's not who I am, and I don't associate myself. When people say, so what do you do? I say, well, I do stuff. You know, I don't know. Instantly, the thing that comes to people's minds when people say, what do you do, is what job do you have? And this is just kind of a reminder to people that you are never your job. You are working your job to get wherever you're trying to go the next day. Um, even if you spent eight years in school, in medical school, and you just started your career in the medical profession, if you feel you don't like it, get out. Don't worry about it. Because it's the only thing worse than spending eight years in doing something in school that you're not going to be interested in later is spending eight years in school only to do it for another 40 in real life. And then you become one of those bitter old grumpy doctors that has absolutely no desire to help his patients and just wants to go home. 
And people know when they're doing something that's enjoyable and plausible in their life. And so find something that you can do that you can enjoy, that you can have respect in and pride in. But don't associate it with who you are. Because you fell into whatever job you're in because you're there. And for those who don't have a job, which I work for myself and I know what that's like. I'm often jobless and then the next day I have a job. Don't worry about it. Just make sure that you're spending your time wisely. And that doesn't mean that you're out there looking for a job. That's not wisely spent. Um, it may be important and something you need to do, but I know how people are. You know, they're like, well, you should be out looking for a job. You can't look for a job 24 hours a day. You know, if you put in two hours a day looking for a job, that's more than enough. And the rest of the day, what do you do? Well, you can sit around and, and create a philosophy about your own life and where you want to go with it. Because a job's not going to take you where you want to go. A job's only going to give you the means to move forward in your own life. So it's just a thought. Nobody needs to be what their job is. Everybody needs to be a good person. But don't use your jobs against each other. And don't think of it as a status symbol. Because your job today, which is worth so much, could be completely useless tomorrow. And it happens every day. So, with that said, namaste everyone. Have a great day.